Now I need a pair of seats, we haven't got any, so we're going to have to make some. So that I can fabricate, I can make that, that can be done. But you know, you need the courage to have a go, to make a mistake and then try and fix it. That's a better way of doing it. So should we have a look at what's involved and how I did it? Put the two logs together, strap them together, so hopefully I can work with them. So what we'll do is we'll feed this in here and then we should be able to get a nice radius on it. That's the plan. We can get a bit smoother, something a bit nicer, can't we, hopefully, with this. I don't expect they did anything much different to this over there, did they, when they were making them? In Moderna. And that's what we're going for, isn't it? We've got to do these, though. And they're tighter. Need some saplings for them rather than big old oak trees. So I've made some of these up. Help us bend it, if you see what I mean. We can put these in the vise, we'll clamp it nicely, and then try and twist it round. So I've done some various ones. A couple more here. So we've got to get this corner in here, haven't we? Which is quite a tight bend there. I guess we want to start bending about there. Let's see if we can get these in there. I've had to reinforce these though, because they were splitting. So doing it cold, is, is a better way of doing it, but it is quite hard work. And really you'd want a proper mandrel for bending these if you're doing any more, but you know, for what I'm doing, this will work. So I'm using them tree stumps. Could use the bottles, couldn't I? <laughs> I'm using the tree stumps there. And then using these blocks in the vise. And we're getting nice results. I'm pleased with that. Tends to try and go flat a bit, but I can hammer that out a bit. One of the things is where it bends, it does keep trying to bend on exactly that bit, whereas I've got to go through a bit more of an arc. As I say, really want a mandrel type thing for bending this, but I haven't got that. So we work with what we got, won't we? It is an awkward thing to do. <clears throat> Sometimes it helps a bit with this. And then you can hit it on there, you see? Like that, rather than on here. You sharpen that up a bit. But that's the trouble, it will tend to hollow it if I'm not careful. Let's see if I can get it in with a bit of this. That's the trouble, when it goes flat, it bends there again. It's very difficult to get it to bend. You know, so I've got a curve, I've got, 
it's starting to bend here where I need that flattened out. I need it to be sharper here, but not with the kink in it. So these now, these bits, you can see that, weld all that together. So I'm just using the old seat as a guide to where they go. Now these are just sort of tacked on, I'm probably going to braise them on I think as well, so belt and braces, because it's not very nice this sort of MIG, MIG blobbing them on like this. Right, so that first one goes on here like that. I'll get that there and then that'll give me sort of a datum to work to because that's got to go there if you see what I mean I'll check the length of it I think first now I think there's a bit of brazing on these I think we're all right so I'm going to go for brazing these as well. Um, belt and braces. <laughs> I don't know. Want it right, don't we? Now a little detail here is these. Now they look to be for headrests, but I've never seen headrests on a Mistral. But we need these bits here as well to be fitted in. These are something to do with the, the um, webbing or something. Anyway, we'll see. So we've got one them. So I've made some up, which is these. Anyway, that's that, a pair of them. And you'll see here I've made a, well, I say I've made. <laughs> We've got, I set them up like this, it's like a jig really, so that we can get them in place. So I've got to get them in like that. Let's get these tacked on. Well, that's that one done. Sorted out these. These tang things, these clips that hold something, hold some of the um, webbing in or something. I'll work that out. So they'll pass muster, won't they? I think they're good. Made the kit. Some pieces to go with the next one because I've got to make another one. Made that bit. Got to make another one of those. Obviously, all the framework's got to be made. So all remains to do now is bond these bits in. I made all these up. So these will work as these sort of bushings to finish those bits off with. And that does that bit there. Again, that one goes on there. That goes on there. You see I've sort of count sunk these so it goes over those. So that's it. What's the best thing to bond them on with? Bit of the old Ivan seal. Alright, put that on there like that. And we put the screws through it and that will hold it in place whilst it goes off. It's messy old gear, but it is brilliant stuff. And yeah, I've got to bond these in. So they'll go in there like that. So I've sort of filled it up with it. 
Then I'll just paint the ends of them in black and that'll, you know, nice job I reckon. That'll work, won't it? I mean, they will work without being bonded on it. They don't have to be bonded on, but I thought it would be um, easier for assembly and so on if they're held in place after on the other, um, you know, the other brackets that I'm copying. They are um, welded on, aren't they? But I explained before, I don't want to weld it, it'll ru ruin the chrome. And, and then I have to have them re and I don't want to do that. Not when the chrome's as good as this. Leave that level, then it might sort of tend to find a, a nice level overnight. So that's my one, and that's the Maserati's one. I'm pleased with that, I think that looks good enough. And once it's covered, no one will ever know. Apart from you lot that watch this. So yeah, works a treat, doesn't it? So that's that, it does what it has to do. And then you can set the different settings for where you want it. So that's all nice. Uh, the chrome looks good on these, as I say they'll polish up lovely, and they'll look very authentic. So these, 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 they fit these on Ferraris. So if you want to set for your GTO or whatever, you know the man to do it. Right, that's it. But you can see he's sort of got this sort of springy bit on here. So it's a nice design. So it's, it's, you know, they, they, whoever designed this was obviously working on seats and knew what they're about because of the way this goes behind there. So it has that spring to it. It's what it is. So it's quite nice. I, I wonder who made them if they were... I say Maserati, it might be that they were outsourced to somebody that just made seats. You know, that, that might need some further investigation. Perhaps like a detective, I should go out to Italy and start looking, see where they make them. <laughs> anyway, I like them. And I started off, you know, we had some of a Maserati. Now we've got most of a Maserati. And all I've got to do is make a bumper for it. And then we'll have all of a Maserati. Well, that's the plan. <laughs> Are you sitting comfortably? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> but it will be when it's all padded out, won't we? And done. And it paid to have the steering wheel bolted on, wouldn't it? But uh, minor issue at the moment, isn't it? <laughs> With the enormity of this job. But as I say, we're nearing having most of a Maserati. But that's for another day. Well, the only thing left to do is to choose a colour. It was originally gold with a black leather interior, but I quite fancy that for tobacco colour. What do you reckon? <laughs>